Okay, so what we've got here is a 2017 Buick Verano. And we're gonna pop these brakes off and we're gonna gravity bleed them. We're gonna do all kinds of things to them. Get them sorted out. Take you along for the ride. Try not to bore you to death. I'm gonna pop this thing out. and It'll give me a little more space. Take off the little cover for that. We are doing gravity bleed. Those are 10 millimeter. These little fellers here, 10 millimeters. that up a little bit so when we push it in it'll be easier <laughs> and not push that old nasty brake fluid Stabilize. These are the old freight pads. I think these are some AC Delco ones. Clips. Clips are worn pretty bad. Got some divots in them. So we've got new ones for that. So this is a 21 millimeter. To get that off. Bar or something. All right, I've got those two loose. Well, they were a bear to get loose. I had to take the the small the swivel socket off of there, the swivel socket, and run it direct on the impact, get it to cooperate. I've just got this kind of just hanging on there with one bolt started on it just to keep it from going nuts on me. I'm gonna check these check these guys out, see how flat they are. Like I said, I think it's it's had a bright job, but they just didn't check everything. Some of these things are these are in such bad shape that just have to replace them. It looks like it's pretty good shape here. Pretty good shape. I'm getting a nice flat signature on there. 
and that's all I want is just to just to clean it up a little bit. I know that that's so annoying when it does like I don't have enough pair of ice grips, so just doing it a little different than I did on the other other one. Get that out of the way. So yeah, these are looking pretty good. Plant this thing on there. A little less jingling around. Kind of took my sunlight though. Got a little bit of a, a divot right there. Just try to work that out a little bit. Try to keep them even, even where as possible. Pretty good. This thing has decided to move on me. Not gonna stay. So that's, that's what we want to do. Get the idea. It's not that big of a deal. It's just a small step in getting these pads cleaned up. this other one on here get it on here in a little better spot maybe it won't move around so much and I'm gravity bleeding or drip bleeding that right now can check it every once in a while see what it smells like yep smells pretty strong it's a huge difference between new brake fluid and that old stuff that was in there it's pretty nasty so I'll go ahead and tighten this feller up a little bit don't even waste in brake fluid if you don't need to no uh, pedal pushing no piddling around that's the easiest way to do it as far as I'm concerned. Not in a hurry, that is. If you're in a hurry, well, there's all kinds of fast ways to do it. Just make sure you catch all that brake fluid in a container and dispose of it properly because we don't want to destroy the whole world with brake fluid, do we? Let's see how this one looks. Now, this one is the top. So the top of the uh, pad areas doesn't get the full weight of the vehicle when you hit the brakes on it looks pretty good Square. looking good get rid of this I've already checked my pins. I've cleaned these rubbers up with some just some silicone. Just sprayed it down and wiped them off. But the grease is nice. Everybody's happy in good shape. We're good. We'll get rid of this brake rotor. Start going back together. Now this one here was not tight. It was loose. And because of that, it was... The brake rotor has impacted it a bit. 
and caused it to be uh, a little warped. Let's see if this will get it off here. Go get me a hammer. All right, got that little feller bump loose. We'll get rid of that. Clean this up a little bit. I've got some Made in USA Weller wire brushes. It's not very hard to get Made in USA stuff. The difference in price is, is that you can get one of these for, you know, uh, $3. And the China ones, you can get a pack of five of them for just a couple of bucks. You know, three or three fifty. The huge difference in price, but I try to get as many USA products as I can find to support my local manufacturer. And if you go to a chemical plant or any most of the industrial operations out there, they'll have a uh, pretty good inventory of, of Made in USA items all the time. They like to support it too, so that's good. All right, so we got that done. Give it a nice wash off. Get rid of some of this excess. There. Get my fluid down. Give it a nice jog with that. Brake rotor on there in the right spot. back on there make sure it's tight because if it gets loose that's going to be causing problems we don't want problems this is all cleaned up and happy I've got new Loctite on my bolts there to go Buzz these two fellas in there. on there. There we go. Everybody's happy. That's what we want. All right, so a little indicator, noise indicator clip goes on the top, on the inside. So you put them in there to put this feller in there and turn it a little bit. Sometimes you get cooperation, sometimes you don't. Just have to play with it. That little tab back there it's always causes a issue. Get in there. there we go. 
bottom one. Bottom one goes in, top one comes out. There we go. Well. There we go. On the outside when you can see everything so it makes it easy all right so i've got this caliper all hung up here and let's have a look at this need to give it a little cleaning knock off some of that junk Pretty. Gets a bunch of dirt in there and debris starts building up. So get that stuff cleaned out as best you can without causing more problems. and all that stuff. It's nice to have it in beautiful condition. Everybody's happy. That's what we want. A little tab of juice on there. Don't take much, just something to say you did it because this stuff gets all smashed out anyway pretty quick. And then, of course, you know, while you're doing this, don't twist that brake line all silly. You want to have an eyeball on that and make sure that you're not. Come on, baby. A little bit. There we go. Just needed a little bit more slack on there. millimeter. Now those bolts are a lot padded too. It's back in place. Put my cover on there. I think this will go back. Yeah, it'll go back like this. Just make sure if you bend that dust you are back there you know, bend it back you'd be making a heck of a noise all right give this thing a little juice on the front a little bit of fluid film there
Okay. Check your tire all the way around for nails. The imperfections are problems. People hit curbs and they don't tell anybody. So we like to have a good look. All the tread. Come back and check those in a minute here with the torque wrench. Everything's falling off. And that's it. Hope you'll have a good day. Hope this helps somebody.